Welcome, I'm Mr. Matthew. Today, I'm going to take you through how to answer standard IGCSE question, physics. Physics paper four extended. And today we're going to look at a question, question three, that have to deal with vector and kinetic energy. So let's see how we answer the question. The objective of this lesson, we have about eight objectives for this lesson, as you can see. But the most important one at the end of this lesson you should be able to answer standard IGCSE physics past question. And we're looking at question three. Now, this is the, what the question is all about. And the, the, you have six mark. You are expected to get six mark from this question. So let's go. If you look at this question, you say figure 3.1 show water in a river moving parallel to the river bank at the speed of four meters per second and a canoe traveling in the river. The canoe is traveling upstream and it's shown there the diagram at the rate of two meters per second while the river water is flowing downstream at the speed of four meters per second. But quickly, let's see what is a vector. A vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction. Examples of vectors are velocity, force, acceleration, distance, and momentum. Okay, vector quantity, for you to describe them, you need to talk about the magnitude and direction. So what is the magnitude of vector? The magnitude of vector, like this canoe, we are looking at the magnitude is the speed, the speed of the canoe, which is 2.5 meters per second second then the direction is where is the canoe pointing to where is it going where is it moving towards that is the direction so it's, in this case it's moving towards up here at the angle of 38 degree so that is the direction then what is the magnitude of the moving water in the river the magnitude is the speed of four meter per second which means that every one second the water mole, uh, the molecules of the water will travel a distance of four meter now the first component in this vector is the speed of the boat velocity of the boat the second component take off from the head of the is the velocity of the flowing river water now, the combination of these two is the addition of vectors. So vectors are added when you combine two vectors to produce another vector that is called addition of vector. So vector VC plus vector VS will give you vector VR. So VR is the resultant vector that is obtained by the addition of these two vectors. So, and then, so that is the green one, is the resultant. So the two vectors you add together, the blue and the red are the components. Why the one that is produced is the resultant. So let's answer the question. Draw a scale diagram to determine the canoe resultant velocity. So what you are important here, you are expected to know the resultant velocity of the canoe. Okay, so this is the diagram. So let's draw, start from the river bank. Take your scale and 2 cm to 1 meter per second because the speed is very small. So try to make it bigger. So get your direction. The canoe is traveling 38 degrees. So get it with your protractor, 38 degrees. Then measure your distance. 2 cm, 2.5 will give me a distance of 5 cm. So 5 cm with the ruler, you measure it along that direction. Then the next thing is we need to add the velocity of the river. So we take that. Velocity of the river is uh, 4 meter per second. So multiply by your scale. That will give me ACM length. ACM length, that is the magnitude, the speed of the flowing water. Then when you combine these two, it's going to give you the resultant, which is the line that connects the, where the boat started moving and where the river push it to. 
So this is here is going to push to. So the final direction of the canoe moving on this river is going to move in this direction. So which is the resultant? So this is the resultant velocity. Now, we need to find out the magnitude of the resultant. So get your ruler and measure the length. So which is 5 cm. So divide it with this scale, 5 cm divided by 2. So we give you 2.5 meter per second. So that is the speed of the canoe, 2.5 meter per second. Then the next thing we need to find out the direction with respect to the river bank here. So where's the angle here? Take your potato and measure it. So we have what? 30, 35, 36, so 36 degrees downstream. So with that, then the mass of the canoe is 65 kg. Then calculate the kinetic velocity of the canoe. Since the water is moving the still water with the speed of 2 meters per second. So velocity, 2.5 mass. So kinetic energy is mass multiplied by the square of velocity divided by 2. So substitute your value. That will give me 203.125 joule or Newton meter. So with that, we have answered our question. Thank you for learning. See you next time.